All right, on this little video clip, we're going to figure out how to use our calculator and do scientific notation correctly. Because there is a button that Texas Instruments has actually programmed to do the times 10 for you. So it knows this part right here. All you have to do is tell the abscissa and the exponent. All right. Now, on this particular calculator, and this is one of my favorites, and I'll show you why in a little bit, this also does memory pretty easily. Okay, that button right there is your scientific notation button. It's the EE button. It's right above the number 7. And to use it, if I'm going to type in that number, 3EE8, because the EE tells the program inside times 10. All you have to do is tell it the 3 and the exponent. And that's all. There is no y to the x. Do not hit the multiplication sign. If you're going to write or put or enter 3 times 10 to the 8th into your calculator, it's just 3, e, e, and 8. And that is all. Okay? To finish out the problem, I need to divide it by 4.56 times 10 to the negative 3. Okay? Now I can hit an actual function key. So I'm going to divide. So I hit divide. Don't be alarmed there because there was enough space in the screen so it put that number in standard format instead of scientific notation. That's quite all right. 4.56, okay, EE, 3, and then use this button here for the negative sign. Don't use the minus, use that, and it put a little negative sign in front of that exponent. Okay, so now I've entered the 4.56 times 10 to the negative 3. Remember, no time sign, no y to the x, nothing like that. Now I'm ready to find out what this answer is, and I hit equals, and it gives me this. So it's 6.58 times 10 to the 10th, and that would be hertz, because it'd be 1 over second. Okay? So you have all these numbers here, and if you notice, they're a little larger than that one there, and there's a slight gap. That tells you that that is the exponent. You have to remember to write the times and the 10 in your answer. Don't put this, OK? Because that is not the same thing. When you put the exponent right on that number, it's saying take 6.58 times itself 10 times. This is saying 10 to the 10th, which moves the decimal over 10 places. All right. The other cool thing about these calculators is that you have a memory key, which is what stores for. That's what STO stands for. If we use 3 times 10 to the 8th a lot, so I can go 3 EE e 8. And I can go store. I'm going to put 3. And if you notice, I got an M3 there. That tells me that that number. I could turn this off, turn it back on. You still see that I have an M3. So if I want to get that number back, I hit recall 3, and there's my 3 times 10 to the 8th. These calculators will store three numbers, okay? And the way to get them back is just hit recall and then the number. If I'm going to see what recall 2 is, that's also 3 times 10 to the 8th. Recall 1 is the mole number. All right? So EE. -E, for scientific notation, store. If you know it's a constant that you're going to use a lot, you can store the number and recall is how you get it back. The only downside to this calculator is that you can only store three constants. All right, that is the only downside. And that's the TI-30XA.